For this tutorial, we will be using the Dice Kit PCB supplied by Bluesat UNSW as presented here. Next, we will go about soldering the transistors on our board. On this board, the transistors are the three-legged components. In, we have a row of three transistors here, and we have another row of two transistors here. These two rows are different types of transistors, so make sure to not get them mixed up. Let's start with the row of three first. This is our transistor here. When placing this transistor in the board, make sure to align the flat side of the transistor with the flat drawing on our board. In this particular case, the transistor slides in very easily and we don't need to um, fold the legs. Let's turn it over. We can use our hand to hold it down or in this particular case, we could insert another transistor into the another hole and this way it will stabilize the board and stop it from rocking backwards and forwards. The process of soldering is much the same. The process of soldering is very much similar to the process of soldering those ICs from earlier. Grab your iron, grab your solder, place the solder next to the leg, place the iron on the outside of the solder and gently press in. It may take a little while but the solder will eventually melt like that. Repeat this process for all of the legs.